Hi, my name is Henrik Voss and I want to explain today how to program LDA lens tables with the Alexa camera. Now, lens tables are used to provide frame accurate lens information for VFX post production, but also to provide this information on equipment like the WCU4 or on a monitor on set. Now, some of our lenses, like the Master Primes, the LDS Ultra Primes, or also the Master Anamorphics, already have encoders that help generating those lens data instantly and transfer them to the camera. Now, for any other lens, we can generate lens tables ourselves and then use them to generate the lens data and capture it with the images. Now, in this case here, I want to create a lens table for an Optimo Zoom. And what I need is, of course, a Alexa camera that includes a plus module. It could be an XD camera or another camera, but it's important that it has the plus module. I need up to three CLM lens motors. I need a laptop with a web browser. And I need the Ethernet cable that connects the camera with the laptop. The first thing I have to do is I have to calibrate the motors. And I have to check that the motor direction of the motors on the camera is set up correctly. So in this case, the motors are mounted on the right side of the camera. So I have to set a direction here to right, which is already done, so it fits. Now I have to access the camera through the web browser. And I'm doing that by typing in Alexa and then the serial number, dot local, and I'm accessing the Alexa web remote interface. Now there's one tab called LDA, which stands for Lens Data Archive. And there I have three options. I can start a new session, which I will now do because I want to create a new lens table. But I could also download an existing lens table from the camera and then change it or restore my last session, which is stored in a session cookie in the browser. So I'm hitting the Start New Session button and I'm getting descriptive fields here, the lens description, I type it in. That will be the one I will see also in the camera interface when I want to select a lens table. So it's important that I write it in a way that I understand it. Then the serial number and the focal length. And because it's a zoom, I type zero. Otherwise, if I have a prime lens, I type in the actual focal length. Now I can create the focus scale. I have the choice between metric and imperial scale. In that case, I have a metric lens, so I choose metric. And now I start with programming the focus scale. I go to the value on the lens. I could also measure the distance myself and then type in the actual value, but in this case, I'm using the engravings on the lens. And I type them in. Hit the green plus button, type in the value. There are three icons a line, a number, and a symbol that stands for interpolation. I use all three of them because I want to see a line on my lens data display and I want, want to see the number because I have all those here and I want to use that value for interpolation. Now I'm doing that with all the values on the lens. And now the last one is infinity and for infinity there's something special. I don't type in a number, type in inf for infinity. And then that's it for the focus scale. Now for the iris and the zoom scales, I do basically the same thing. So now I've finished the creation of the lens tables and I'm hitting the send button to send those scales to the camera. Now the camera is generating the actual lens table and I can now download that lens table as well and save it on my laptop and then later transfer it to SD card and load it into any other Alexa camera with a plus module. Now I want to make the check. I'm selecting the lens display on the Alexa screen. So now just to confirm, I'm setting the lens to 10 meters. So now I have the 10 meters on my lens data display on the WCU4 hand unit. I have the 10 meters mark on my lens. I have the 10 meters on the pre-marked focus ring. And last but not least, I have the 10 meters in the Alexa display. And what's displayed in the Alexa display is, of course, the same values that are also embedded with images and that can be shown as an overlay on onboard monitors, for example. So the lens table is working, it is created, it's in the camera, I can use it for any other Alexa. And that's the end of the story. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.